Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video, we're going to be having a look at a new project that I've been working on recently. We'll go over all the details and the objectives and we'll also discuss the future plans of the project. Finally, we'll go and test them out here in the world of Stormworks and see where we are currently at the current point of time. Now, if you're enjoying this video, comment below and anything else you'd like to see maybe added or changed in part two of this video. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and make sure to click the little bell icon to be notified of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So to get started with this new project that I'm working on, just to kind of give you a little bit of a background of what I wanted to actually achieve with this. Now, the whole point of this was to get a train that would automatically stop at all the stations here in Stormworks. Now, I had this idea quite a while back when we originally got trains in Stormworks quite a while ago. And the whole idea, as I said, was for it to go throughout the world and actually go and stop at different stations. Now, back then, we only had the train line from over here where I think it was uh, at Spike Cakes Terminal all the way up to Komodo Terminal. Obviously, now we have the Arctic with the train line and we also have Sawyer Islands. So a whole bunch of different locations locations where we can actually go to at the moment. Now, pretty much what I wanted is I wanted the train always to drive from Spy Cakes, stop at different locations, five, I think it was four or five different locations. You have the um, chemical storage and Lighthouse OB, and there's another place here um, just north of mainland where I wanted to stop and then finally hit Komodo Terminal. Once it hits Komodo Terminal, I wanted it then to hit all the way back, stopping at the different locations and then finally reaching the actual spy cakes terminal once again and repeating the process over again now there's a couple different elements to this and it was different ways of achieving it um there is the way i've done it it's still a work in progress hence the reason why this is part one of this new project uh, and as i said it's broken down different elements the first element of this uh which was obviously necessity was the stations um you can see here i have got a station here at spy cakes another one at komodo uh, and i'm still actually going to be building some more this one is not my design i'm not taking credit for this station uh, it's another content creator uh, on the workshop that I found the station. I have modified it uh, to obviously meet my requirements a little bit wider platforms. I've updated a little bit more modern, um, made it look a little bit more cleaner. Uh, but once again, not my work, but I am using this at the moment uh, until I build my own stations in game. The second element, of course, was the train itself. Now, I spent about 24 hours building this train. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Obviously, without a working train, this is not going to work. So the train itself is is a London style train uh, quite nice I think it's a Siemens train if I'm correct uh, it's quite nice and modern it looks really nice with the new wedges here you can see the beautiful wedges that we managed to use all over it uh, the train itself is you can see there's two parts there's the front and the end they're pretty much identical they just once again mode and that's how I spawn them in uh, inside them uh, you can see here we have some lighting systems we have all the chairs we can go and sit down I have pretty much designed it as a real London train uh, inside also we have some screens showing the train number and the time and there's also a stops uh, but that depends when the train is on it has to have the stops so you can see we can cross the actual uh, carriages going to the next carriage once again has exactly the same and then we have the driver's compartment in the driver's compartment uh, to get in we just have to enter in a special code and you can see we now are in the driver's compartment over here which is quite nice it's got a couple different cool features before we speak about that uh, I want to actually have a look at more of the train so you can see here with the doors they are automatic open doors they will only open at stations when we are stopped uh, as you can see we're at the station now and they will only open on the side where there is a platform uh, it won't open on the side where there is no platform uh, that is being taken care of by this little distance sensor over here you can see if I go and stand next to it the doors will open for us uh, you probably think oh what's the smoke there are automatic engines um, inside here Pretty much it's a diesel electric uh, system and the batteries will just go and recharge uh, when they get too low. There's a fuel system in there. These are completely independent, which are quite nice. Uh, so you can see there's two, there's one on the back and there's one on the front. So the train will literally just go and turn on and off whenever it thinks that it's going to drop low on battery. Uh, it does drop low quite a lot on battery because of these doors. Uh, these doors are on um, sliders and the sliders always need to be 
on negative one so they stay closed especially when going around bends and things that's the problem so they do eat up quite a bit of battery as you can see while we're sitting in the platform but not to worry i have tons of fuel tons of electricity so i don't really mind uh, so that's going to consistently recharge now you'll also see there's some actual train screens on the outside uh, those will only turn on once we actually go inside the driver's cab and we toggle the master switch on you can see the little train screens have gone and turned on on the outside and also inside they've also gone and turned on now you're looking at those and probably thinking oh what is all that going on there well as you can see top left is the train number underneath at the time and at the top we have nj transport all stations mainland island where we are now and then underneath it we have little circles the little circles indicate what stop we are on uh, which is quite nice so if we're on our first stop the first circle goes second stop second etc 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 so it fills up and tells you how long you are or how far you are on your train journey which is pretty cool kind of like a real train uh, one thing i still want to work on and still and i'm improving is going to be the um where it says all stations i want that to actually tell you what station we're at uh so it's going to change from komodo terminal to um spy cakes terminal to lighthouse ob etc uh and at the moment this train has only been designed to, to go on the mainland island uh, i am thinking of extending it all the way up to arctic and also islands i might even do different lines i haven't once again this is still a work in progress so i'm kind of getting onto it now the train itself uh drives like a normal train literally toggle it on master slave you have a nice little screen with our time temperature speed fuel battery generator one engine two engines they turn on automatically depending obviously on the battery so if the battery drops below i think 60 these will turn on and kick in oh which is quite nice we have different screens we can see our map we can see the front camera etc uh br throttle brakes and then our master slave switch over here exactly the same on the other end uh and they will only turn on if you go there and if you sit in them and hit the master slave on uh which is quite nice uh, as i said it drives like a normal train you can literally just drive it as you want to uh pretty simple just go ahead you can see we can now go and start moving forward we can move backwards it's it, it's up to us at the end of the day uh we also have our brakes which is up and down arrow you can see that we can put our brakes on uh the lights are automatic in the front and at the back uh so depending on which way you're going we'll get red lights at the back and obviously our on lights at the front and vice versa depending on which way you're going which is quite nice um so a lot of small touches in this project uh guys but that's what i wanted there's some electricity for heaters interior lights and train screens all automatic of course we can toggle them to be in manual if we wanted to uh now probably what you're looking forward to the most is the automatic system of driving um that gets activated by clicking on this all stations auto stop the train will just drive by itself stop along the way go to Komodo terminal turn back stop along the way and head back here which is pretty cool um we also have an override so we can manually go and tell the system where we want to go uh, if you wanted to do that um but it's still obviously i want it to be completely automatic and that's the whole point of why we built the train now to activate this automatic system um pretty much switch it on the train will now drive by itself um it will obviously start to think and do everything it needs to do i'm going to turn it off because i want to set it from the other side so i'm just going to jump out because we haven't reached this terminal just yet so let's go and jump into this side and let's go and get in we're going to turn it on here and we're going to tell it to start okay so you can see it's now starting it's going to start here at spy kicks so it's going to go and stop this is our first station so you can notice here at the here we should get that little dot saying that this is the first station has been achieved yep there we go and now we're heading off the lights have turned on the front the back lights have turned on red uh, and pretty much now we're heading off one thing i am still working on is getting the train tracks to switch automatically at the moment they are still manual i have got a way to do it uh, i'm still implementing it as i said this is a work in progress project uh it's pretty cool as i said we can literally just get out now and leave the train to do itself uh, you can see here we have these beautiful screens in here which will go and fill the dots as we move on forth you can kind of see the doors a little bit shaky um it's just the speed we're going and with trains unfortunately uh we can go and move around through the train if we need to which is quite nice lights are all automatic as i said earlier if we want to get into the driver's cab we can um you do need the code once again i need to go and reset it to get in here 
so we can go and get in now and you can kind of see the train is just driving along and how we've managed to get it to drive along is you'll notice that there's these little radio antennas throughout the world these little radio antennas are telling the train where the stations are there's nothing else inside there's just a gps block that's it everything else is being taken care of by the train itself uh, the train then knows where it needs to where it needs to stop at as you can see doors are opening here happy days we can get out we can carry on with our day uh, and doors will close we drop off and there's our second dot which is great um, now as I said there's a couple different ways you can achieve this um, you could hard code the GPS locations into the train the only problem with that is every map you change so for example I have it on the seed if someone else uses it on a different seed it won't work and that's one thing I didn't want. I wanted it to work on every single map, every single seed. I don't want you to modify any game files. I just want you to literally activate the mission and go. So that's the whole purpose of these little radio antennas with the GPS blocks in them. The train knows they need, it needs to drive to that location, stop, and then carry on. That's, that's the main reason behind it. All the, uh, all the logic, everything about this train is built into the train. It's completely smart. It knows its steps. It knows where it needs to go. Uh, you can set a hundred different stations. I could set five stations. I could set one station and it knows where it needs to stop and when it needs to turn around. And we're going to see that in a few minutes now. Uh, you can see double checking the signals because that's I'm still working on uh, but when we eventually get to Komodo terminal you'll notice the train is just going to automatically turn by itself and it's going to head along the line it's going to reset its path uh, it's pretty cool now you've noticed there's no stations actually at these stops uh, I am still building those stations I want the stations to firstly look cool and realistic along with that I want there to be little signs or screens in there to actually tell you how long the train is going to be until it arrives and what train it is as i said i'm thinking of having different lines the northern line the western line and the eastern line etc um so i want you i want you to know firstly what train is coming where it's going and then how long it's going to be until it arrives so i want to get that working at some point um but it's still as I said, a work in progress very heavily um but yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun building this, uh, especially the train. I've, I've really had a lot of fun building it. There's been a lot of challenging things I needed to get done with it, um, which is pretty cool. But you can see here, we're just coming into Lighthouse OB, uh, which is our second to last stop on the way before we actually hit Komodo Terminal. Um, there is absolutely no station here at all. There's not even a default platform uh, that there's built into this. They didn't. I guess obviously feel necessary that there needed to be a train stop here however I kind of think there is I think it's nice to have a train station uh, stop here let's get off to go look at the lighthouse etc maybe you see there's a little house there obviously whoever's living there needs to get around the train too um, but I guess they thought there wasn't big enough demand um, but yeah you can see the train stopping once again uh, we just carry on we're sitting lovely at the back nice and comfortably uh, no crowding in this train uh, we don't have to wear any protective masking on it because it's an automatic train there's no other humans on there um but yeah we're carrying on we're getting slowly now to the next station i have limited the speed on this train quite a bit i didn't want it to go too fast i want it to be slightly realistic in its speed i think it's going around 110 or 120 uh miles per hour which is quite fast uh but i didn't want it to go any more than that to be honest you can see we're getting up to our next station here we should start slowing down yes we have and then we should be pulling in into the next terminal. You can see once again, we have the actual station built here, exactly the same as the other terminal. Uh, but yeah, we can now pretty much wait until we get, we'll get to our stop. Doors are going to open for us, just like a real train. We could actually now go and jump out. Yep, happy days, get out, look around, jump back on the train before it leaves again. And hopefully everything will reset and we're going off again. Yay! Okay, so you can now see the train is heading off in the opposite direction. I'm going to sit down again to show you guys. Um, it's now heading off. We now have left Komodo Terminal. We're now heading along all the different stations again. Uh, and then we'll eventually head back at Spy Cakes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the project. As I said, uh, this is part one. I am moving on to the next part of the project, which is getting the rail tracks uh, or the signals sorted out then i'm going to plan on extending it 
to the Arctic and to Soy Islands. Uh, and then we will also be building the stations itself. But hopefully you guys had a lot of fun, uh, obviously, watching this one and learning about how I've managed to do this and seeing how we've managed to get this out and hopefully are also excited uh, when this will get out. I probably will be putting this on my dedicated server within the next couple days slash weeks. I'll uh, be opening it up for my patrons to get early access to the train uh, and see it on the server. And then eventually we'll get it on the public server at some point. Uh, but yeah, I had a lot of fun building this and continue and building it. Uh, don't forget, leave me a comment below if you guys are enjoying this or think this is a cool idea or if you have any other suggestions for this uh, train project that i'm currently working on i'd love to hear your comments obviously below so i think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and found it some entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one